Hi, it's Bank Holiday Monday, Shrewsbury Folk Festival 2012. I'm standing here with the Treacherous Orchestra, at least a, a small fraction of the Treacherous Orchestra. In the grand Celtic tradition, there's a, quite a few of them. <laughs> so uh, here we have... Hey, I'm Ali and I play the pipes and whistles. I'm Innes, I play fiddle. Uh, Ross, pipes and whistle as well. And I think it's currently, is there 12 of you here there's today? Is that the official number? That's the official, as of now, the official number. We, we picked up a guy on the motorway along the way, so he's now in the band. He's, hey. uh, yeah, yeah. D does he play anything? No. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. He <laughs> plays the guitar. He plays we the think, guitar. We hope. Yeah, yeah. He was then on a crossroads, actually, and there was like. This guy just disappeared off. We were like, "What? Who was that?" And he was like, it "Doesn't matter. I'll tell you later." And that's from Robert Johnson, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> wrong oh, guy. No, sorry. Okay, wrong guy. This no. guy's Irish. He um, also goes to Marks and Spencers for his food, so we we're like, "Pick him up." Oh, yeah. he must be. There's good, a guy man. next to him that had spar bags. <laughs> <laughs> Marks and Spencers. <laughs> <laughs> him. Good He's bit of two grub. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, so, how, how do you get about? How do a dozen of you get about? Um, we have a splitter van, a big blue splitter van, which is sitting out there, yeah, and uh, a car. And the fortunate smokers get to go in the car, and the non-smokers go in the uh, van. So, yeah. I have already had a word with your tour mum, Leslie. Tour mum, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we also call her the zookeeper. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Check. That's the official title. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And you just rely on her for everything. Pretty well, much. She, she stopped ironing her. Ironing, I, ironing. I've had half a pint of cider <laughs> and I can't say ironing her shirts. Hey. But she stopped ironing her shirts. But she does everything else, yeah, pretty She's, much. Yeah, she picks up the slack where, where a lot of us yeah, drop the ball because we're thinking about sound checking and yeah. getting our instruments all ready and tuning. These guys take about 10 minutes every. Uh, half hour to tune the pipes <laughs> and uh, yeah when, when we're all doing that she's sorting out everything else talking to people yeah. she's very good right. so going back the, around Easter time your album Origins was uh, was out wasn't it how long did that take getting a dozen of you together it must be quite complicated getting in the studio getting it all down we were like we spent a week up in um, a place near Fort William and um, we kind of yeah the kind of back line went first and then, oh, sometimes no, actually, I think we tried to play together play and stuff, and then possible, yeah. just to get that kind of vibe. But you know, and then yeah, it took after that maybe it was about a month, two months. It was a long. <laughs> it was a lot longer than that. It took like, a while. We'd like to say, it, yeah. yeah, we just banged it out in two weeks, and yeah. it was it was perfect. Uh, but no, two yeah, weeks. no, the bulk of it got done in that week, and then there was a lot of uh, uh, extra recording, and then editing and mixing and, and all that kind of thing so it took a while it was actually about a year I think was that a year? yeah, yeah. Year the guys the guys finished. that think it was about a couple of months but for those idiots that had to sit for long hours it was like about a year but you've got you've got a core of writers haven't you is that right? yeah you've got well, every, everyone yeah, writes write, yeah. 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 and then um, I think maybe on the album what's it like a lot of people that write tunes, but the thing is, the, pe the people that write tunes are not, not just the writers, because obviously the people are coming up with all the parts, like Dunk on the bass, Ali writes a lot of chords as well, he plays Spikes, he writes a lot of chords, and there's bad chords, so it's, I, I suppose everyone's writing, yeah. not necessarily the melody, but everybody's creating it all, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. And was, was there any particular focus for that album? Was there any? Is there any sort of theme, or is it just sort of stuff that came together quite organically? Yeah, it, the, the origins. It was basically over the years we've all played in different combinations of together in different things, you know, different wee gigs or whatever, and, and that music kind of naturally developed, and the style of playing developed. So it is kind of a snapshot of. What, where last, we came like, from, you know. 15 years or something, people yeah. have been playing together. Yeah. And uh, yeah, all the music from that has culminated in what we have now, which is the Treacherous yeah. Orchestra. And what went on the album was just, it was a snapshot of what we're doing at that <coughs> yeah. point. Um, 
Yeah. Now that now that we have to think about it, it's a lot harder. <laughs> yeah. Second album, it's that classic second album. It's really yeah. difficult. Yeah. More yeah. difficult, yeah, I think, for us yeah. than, than many. But. I mean, it's, it's, it's a hell of a sound. And um, but my question is, do you need two of things often? And that it might be a totally ignorant question, but like, do you, you know, you're, doub you're doubling up on certain things, as far as I can tell. I think it, was, it wasn't even planned to be like that because we, we're all we're all friends around about Glasgow. Maybe you know, ten years ago, some of us went to the RSMD, and some of us were just in Glasgow. But it just so happens, you know, like well, me and Ali have been pals for ages. We both play pipes. A Adam and Innes have been pals for a while. They both play fiddle. You know, it's just, it's just the way it's kind of happened. It, it, makes, it makes it far more interesting though, because you're not always relying on people playing the tune. It's not then about just playing melodies. Everyone's playing the, the straight melody. It allows people to work on parts and make make it more orchestrated. That's the whole thing. Is it's loosely like an orchestra. <laughs> and you'll yeah. you'll see with other big bands like um, Salsa Celtica. Or, um, or Pete Boggs, Pete Boggs yeah, they've yeah. got brass sections that do, you know, and brass is great, it totally helps out with with backing and, and yeah. it kind of ties everything into this modern sound yeah. that music has nowadays, folk music. Um, and with us, we don't have any brass because we don't, like, we don't, don't feel yeah. we need them. What we've done is used string parts or, like, whistle parts, yeah. you know, to, to add that kind of yeah. brass element. So. Yeah, and that, yeah. that pads out a lot of the time. So you'll see, I mean, every now and again, we use that really powerful sound of all of, all of the front line, yeah. all of the melody players playing the melody, and it's huge. It's just more options, yeah. There's more options to to go around here. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's dramatic stuff. We really look forward to it tonight. Thanks very much. Thanks so much. No so, thank you. Pleasure.